Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys all about array lists in Java, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Alright, well welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this video I'm going to be explaining array lists. An array list is a collection, it's a type of resizable array. Elements can be added and removed after the compilation phase, which you cannot normally do with standard arrays. However, they only store reference data types, and I'll give you a few examples. So these are the steps in order to create an array list. First, we type array list. Pay attention to the capitalization. The A and the L are both capital. Then we need a pair of angle brackets, and we're going to list the reference data type within the angle brackets. Let's say we're storing an array list of food. So we will create an array list that will store some strings for the names of food. Now, if you need to store primitive values like an integer, a double, a character, you need to use the wrapper class. So for example, if we needed to store integers within an array list, we would not place int, we would use the appropriate wrapper class and type integer. So we're going to be storing strings which are already reference data types. So let's call this array list food equals new array list angle brackets we're going to list the data type again of string parentheses semicolon and we'll need an import so at the top of our program outside the class import java.util.arraylist we now have an array list called food that will store strings so how can we add values to our array list well there is a function to do that that is the add function and in order to use the add function, type in the name of the array list, dot add, and we can add a string. So let's add a few food items. Let's add pizza to the first element, followed by, I'm going to copy this, hamburger, and hot dog. So let's display all the elements of our array list, and we can do that using a for loop. So for parentheses, curly braces, and then we will need an index, int i, we'll set this equal to zero. We'll continue this for loop as long as i is less than food. And normally with arrays, you would use dot length, but with array lists, we use dot size. And we are going to increment our index by one. And then in order to display or retrieve one of the elements of our array, we will use the get function. And let's put this within a print line statement, food.get, and then we are going to list the index of i. So this will display all of the food that is in our array list, pizza, hamburger, and hot dog. Now let's discuss a few useful methods of array lists. The first useful method is the set method, food.set. So we can set a value at a certain index, let's say at index zero, currently we have pizza at this index, we will replace this value with maybe sushi. And now within our array list, if we display all of the elements using our for loop, we now have sushi, hamburger, and hot dog. So our pizza value has been replaced with sushi because we used the set method. So we can also remove a value at a certain index using the remove method food dot remove let's say we would like to remove our hot dog that is at element number two and now we only have sushi and hamburger and last but not least we can use the clear method to clear our array list food dot clear and we no longer have any elements within our array list of food because we cleared it we ate all the food all right, everybody, so that is array lists in Java. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this in the comments down below. Please don't forget to do me a favor and smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.